country of Bharat was in turmoil. The Asuras and demons had been terrorizing the country. Frightening and tempting the people, they made them do bad things to each other, creating great unhappiness. The people forgot their religion and turned to the path of evil. This made the holy and wise men greatly distressed. And so they turned to Lord Purshottam Narayan for guidance. It was dawn in the abode of the gods, and the stars were still visible in the northern sky, shining down gently on the holy place of learning, Padrikashram, wherein Purshottam Narayan dwelt. Purshottam Narayan was in his dual form of Nar and Narayan presiding over the assembly of great sages, hermits and brahmins who had gathered to seek his advice. Present with Nar and Narayan were Dharmadev, Murti Devi and Udavji, among many others. All had come to discuss the terrible situation in Bharat and all were highly agitated. The sage Narayan was trying to calm them down and urging them to be patient. All eyes were fixed on him. Just at that moment, the sage Durvasa arrived at the assembly. As he was late, he stood behind the gathered crowd. But so agitated was the assembly that no one noticed him or welcomed him. Durvasa took this as an insult. His eyes became red with anger. Suddenly, he burst out in an angry voice. What is this? Have you no respect for me, that you turn your backs on me and ignore me? Am I a common man, that you do not greet me on my arrival? Never have I been so insulted. For this, all of you shall be cursed. All of you will go from this place, and you will be born on the earth. There to be tormented and suffer under the Asuras. There was a stunned silence. At first, everyone was so shocked that no one could speak. Then slowly, Dharmadev and Murti Devi rose, approached Durvasa and knelt before him. Mahashi Durvasa, we meant you no insult. We did not see you come. Yes, it is true. We were all so agitated over the plight of Bharat that we did not notice you. Please forgive us, great sage. Yes, forgive us and take back your curse. Durvasa thought for a moment. Then seeing the truthfulness of what they were saying, his anger turned to pity and his heart melted. He was truly repentant for what he had done. But a sage's curse once spoken, cannot be undone. Durvasa wondered for a moment what he could do to relieve the people's distress. Gently, he spoke to the worried crowd. It is unfortunate what has happened. I regret that I am unable to take back my curse. However, I can add to my curse. The assembled people were puzzled. They waited with bated breath looking at him expectant. Sage Durvasa then looked deliberately at Lord Narayan and spoke. I regret that I cannot take back my curse, but I will bring you some relief from your distress on earth. I add to my curse that God will also be incarnated on earth along with you. He will be with you and will surely deliver you from all your suffering. The assembled gathering of sages, brahmins and hermits stared in amazement as Durvasa slowly hung his head and walked away from the meeting. Suddenly, all the assembled people became agitated, talking excitedly. They were fearful at being born on the earth, inhabited as it was by asuras and demons. They wondered how they would survive. Then Narayan called for silence. The people waited to hear what he had to say. Fear not, this life on earth 
is but a moment in the great expanse of time. And though you will no doubt undergo many trials and tribulations, I will be there with you to show you the way out of them. Wait and look for me. You will know me when I am born on the earth. By my deeds, Maharshi Durvasa has unwittingly shown us the way for earth to come out of its problems. We should be grateful to him. Let us go from here without fear. So saying, the assembled sages, hermits and brahmins left the Badrik Ashram with apprehension written on their faces. And so it was that all were born upon the earth.